So this week I am going to be testing out these stick and stitch patches on this tote bag as is a bundle that I thought about would be a great idea, just sort of a good way to embellish like an old tote bag if you've got loads of shopping bags or anything like that that need a bit of vamping up or embellishing. I thought this would be a great idea um, to do that, so let's see how it goes.
so now that's all done i am just gonna let it dry overnight but what do you think about turning these little stick and stitch um patches into like an a4 sheet size so instead of having lots of little ones you could have like like say for this one for example you could make it i could make it a4 size so it would fit onto um the center of the bag like a like a bigger one i think that would be quite different let me know what you think so this is my idea so you would get a tote bag and then you would be able to pick one of the four colours, which are the same as the ones you get in the embroidery toolkit. Um, so these will be seasonal, so like uh, summer, autumn, spring, winter. So you get to pick one of those. And then you get to pick a stitch and, stick and stitch pack. So one of those, one of the threads, a tote bag, and maybe an optional like three inch hoop, just um, for ease if you don't have one already. But that is my idea for a little bundle so you can um, do your own little tote bag. Um, I think I could put like a little card in as well with just some like top tips of how to embroider it. Like how I rolled it and tying the um, handles up. I think that would be a good little like make your own tote bag. Let me know what you think. Kitty. Ignored. Me. Good morning. Bye. Say hi. Oh, so it's finally dry. I think it looks really good. I like the all the different colours that I've chose. I think it worked really well with that palette. I think the one thing I'll say though is I think the bag has shrunk a little bit. Just on the bottom where I've dipped it in the water. <laughs> Can you see? That's the bag behind that I haven't washed or anything. So I think... But it hasn't affected the embroidery at all um sometimes this can happen when you do really long stitches with stick and stitch anyway even if you put it in a hoop so that's something to bear in mind if you do do stick and stitch and um you it's going to be on something that isn't going to be in a hoop and um, sometimes the stitches can like move a little bit if you do big stitches like that um but i'm pretty happy with it i think it looks really good so yeah, let me know what you think. So I think I'm going to end the vlog there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our walk around Anna Castle and let me know if you like the tote bag bundle idea and if you think you might want one and yeah they will be going live i think they'll be live by the time this goes out so please go check it out and next week i will be doing something a slightly bit different um i got a commission off my best friend so look out for that one it's very very different and i will see you then bye